Paul Yes. Mm -hmm. Organization of this document. Uh, advisory memorandum contains four substantive parts. Yes. Uh, the first part outlines the recommended process for evaluating proposed regulatory administrative actions to avoid unconstitutional takings of private property. Mm -hmm. Utilizing the other substantive portions of the advisory memorandum. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, general constitutional principles governing takings and due process. Yes. Now, as I remember, this screen print was a document in the state of Washington evaluating, yes, their actual laws and whether or not uh, they were violating constitutional principles governing the takings and due process. Yes. Uh, presents an overview of the general constitutional principles and determines whether a government regulation may become so severe mm -hmm, mm -hmm, that it constitutes an unconstitutional taking of private property or violates substantive due process rights. Yes. This discussion is derived from cases that have interpreted uh, these constitutional provisions in specific fact situations. Mm -hmm. Let's say my name. Paul Chad Budnick. Yes. Who was it that decided to take my name? <coughs> well, let's see. Mm -hmm. July 2nd of 2011, my wife called the police and alleged domestic violence and child abuse while we were living on Guam. Yes. She had me put in jail, mm -hmm. and I spent 10 days in jail. Yes. And uh, without my knowledge, she bought plane tickets and decided to leave uh, Guam. Yes. Moved back to Clown County and you issued a protection order. Yes. Now, I did not receive any notice or opportunity to be heard when she got here. Yes. You issued it for one year. Mm -hmm. Now, this idea of constitutional right uh, to private property. Yes. And due process rights. Mm-hmm. When using my name to motion the court, mm -hmm, I would say that it was unconstitutional to take my name without any due process to myself. Yes. Now, for the idiot fuck right now that thinks you can use anybody's 